In addition to the question that they both asked, I'm actually touched by the question she asked in addition to the one that he asked just now. Mm -hmm. Because I am one of those persons that was actually growing up in the church system. I mean, oh. I wouldn't say I've fallen short, but how exactly would you go back or what are the steps that you would consider taking and going back on that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you got saved, the steps were to repent and to be baptized and to be filled. Once you receive the Holy Ghost, I preach about it on Sunday, that once you go down in water baptism in Jesus' name, the blood of Jesus is applied to you in water baptism. Now, that blood cannot be contaminated. That blood, the Bible describes it as being efficacious in that the blood cleanses sins. The sinner have to go through the process of repentance, baptism, and in filling the brother or sister who has fallen. All they need to do is just turn around. In other words, all they need to do is just repent. And when we say repentance, repentance is not godly sorrow. It's not crying and saying, Lord, oh, me sorry, and so on. That is conviction. Repentance means to change. If you are asking about the many sins that you have accumulated over the years and wonder how soon or how quick will all those sins be removed, it can be removed in an instant, the instant that you truly repent. Tonight, if you decide that tonight, God, this is it. I am making that change. I am making that transition. Don't bother think about you have to go back in the water again, go baptize. You had the spirit. All you need to do is just to repent. And when you repent, that blood that cleansed you once, it is still there to cleanse you again. When you repent, you're not coming back home to church people. You're coming back to God. If the sister right beside you, skin up her face and don't want to sit beside you because she said you did not sin too long. You are not coming back to her. You are coming back to the Lord. When the prodigal son came home, his brother was not happy to see him. But the father stood with his arms outstretched, saying, My son, who was once dead, is now alive. Focus on the father and not the brother.